Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo, and today we will be taking a look at the brand new updated edge lighting on your Samsung Galaxy phones once they get the Samsung One UI 3.0 update, which brings you Android 11. Now, yesterday I uploaded a video talking about pretty much everything that's brand new and changed with Samsung One UI 3.0. I also got a lot of questions asking about edge lighting. Is it better? Also, when is this update being pushed out of Samsung One UI 3.0? Right now I am running the beta version. My guess is that this will be pushed out to the public sometime around November. So this way we'll have about four to six weeks going through the beta, making sure everything is kinked out. Now, the nice thing about a Samsung phone is that when you get a notification, if your screen is on or if the screen is off, you'll get notified with lights around the edges and in the top middle. Now, in my past video, I had a lot of questions asking, does it work with this application? Does it work with that application? Uh, has it been improved? What's all different? So in today's video, I'm basically gonna cover everything with that. One of the most important things is that it has been relocated in a different part of the settings and almost kind of rebranded. Now, when you have a phone that has Samsung One UI 2.0 or 2.5, it's always in the same location. When you go inside of your settings, then you go inside of your display, now underneath display, you're gonna scroll down where it goes inside of your edge screen. So this is where your edge panels and your edge lighting is all together. Now inside of edge lighting, you go inside of here and then it's gonna look like this in the screen. Now, when it comes down to 3.0, it's not gonna be inside of display. This time, because it is actually in fact dealing with when you get a notification, it will be inside of notifications. Now, this is where you can change it if you want it to be detailed, if you want it to be a big little uh, bar rectangle area that has your, your message that came through, or if you want it to be brief. So this is where it's kind of rebranded underneath brief pop-up settings. And then this is where you can change your included applications. Now, when it comes down to edge lighting on this phone as well, I mean, I even had it turned on for Hangouts. I even had it turned on for Google Messages. And for some reason on this phone, neither of those two worked. And it's actually the same thing with Facebook Messenger. Those were three applications that it didn't work with from before when the screen was on or off. And now it actually works with every single application. I've I made sure that I had messages coming in and out with Google Messages, Samsung Messages, uh, Facebook Messenger, Duo, Hangouts, and it actually works with all of them so to answer your question has it been improved and does it work with this application it in fact does and i'm actually super excited for that now i also want to make sure you guys know that it's inside of notifications and not inside of display Oh, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these videos, tips and tricks, and all of these early looks at Samsung One UI 3.0, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, when you go inside of here and you click on that brief pop-up settings, this is gonna take you into this uh, screen here. You can even have different colors of pop-ups coming up with particular keywords, and you can have it work when the screen is off. So here is your edge lighting style. So now this is basically this screen here. Now, as you saw from before in this past screen, this one just really allows you to choose the style, which is gonna be right here. These choosing of the apps, was actually over here on the previous page, as you can tell. So a little bit of change is happening, but things do make sense on this side just a little bit more. So let's take a look at the lighting styles. So what you're gonna see here is that this one is just kind of taller on this side. Um, you're just gonna have two rows of everything. When it comes down to this one, it's gonna be one singular row, which was actually, I believe, what it used to look like uh, back in the past. But really, when you take a look at all of these here, it's all gonna be pretty much the exact same. So you're gonna have your wave, the bubble, the eclipse, glitter, glow, all of those are gonna be there. Here's uh, right there that eclipse, echo, spotlight. So it's all gonna be pretty much the exact same unless if you have the Edge Lighting Plus application. So Edge Lighting Plus will give you a little bit more. And then when you go inside of color, uh, pretty much the exact same right here. This is where you can add in that, that keyword. So if you want a particular color to come up with a keyword on your 2.5, this is where you can also do that. You can also activate it to be going with the color of the application itself. And then underneath advanced, this is where you just kind of go through. Each one will have different options. You have transparency, width, and duration. This one's just basically transparency and width. And again, it's going to depend on, you know, which of these choices you choose. So they're all going to be pretty much the exact same. It just kind of goes into this one where it's going to be all in one row. 
This one is put up over in two rows. And then on this screen here, you can see a lot of differences with these menus. So just as a big, huge heads up, if you're trying to look for your edge lighting, it's not gonna be inside of display. Also, the other crazy thing too, is that when I originally first tried to find edge lighting on here, I went inside the edge screen, I didn't see it. I even went inside of my search and then I tried typing in um, edge lighting. So when you type in edge lighting right here, you're not even gonna see it pop up. So that's one of the crazy things is that it's been completely rebranded. You'd be able to find it over here, but not on this side, but it does take you inside of notifications, brief pop-up settings. So it does take you here and then you are able to find, oh, here is the edge lighting styles. It's just rebranded to brief pop-up settings. Now, before we end this video off, if you guys want to take a look at just a few more things inside of here underneath notifications, I mean, there is do not disturb. You can go through some of these settings. You can also see that there's been a few things added in and I'll cover this one probably in a later video. You have one for do not disturb. You can do it for how long. Uh, you can even have it set up as a schedule, but you were able to do some of the do not disturb settings with the past older skins, but it's gonna be a little bit different with 3.0. And then inside of advanced features, one of the cool things inside of here as well is going to be this floating icon. So you can have it to where you can open up conversation notifications as bubbles from the quick panel. So you can either have it off, you can have the, bob uh, the bubbles on right here, or you can also have the smart pop-up view and then you can select which applications. Smart pop-up view was something still a part of past Samsung phones, uh, but it's a little bit different when it comes down over inside of these bubbles. And then the last thing inside of this menu here is going to be show notifications. So you can either have all of them, three most recent, number of notifications only, or you can also have none. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Edge lighting is now rebranded to brief pop-up settings. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.